all over the world, waste is created on an enormous scale. You've seen the city council's waste removal trucks collecting waste from industries, households, and markets. Annually, the city council spends 500 million on handling this waste, and this is not enough. Lilongwe City is the capital city of Malawi, growing at over 4% per annum. And with this growth, also we see growth in um, waste generation. Challenges with waste management result in many negative side effects. I'm from Bunda College, uh, from the Environmental Science Department. If we are stockpiling organic waste, like what is happening currently at the waste dumping facilities, so if this waste is not being aerated and so on, so you encourage anaerobic conditions. Once you have anaerobic conditions with organic material, you have methane that is being produced. So methane is even 30 times more dangerous than carbon dioxide. So, even if our waste reaches the landfills, this does not solve the problem. The biggest challenge we may face in recycling organic waste is separating at source. If I take my own experience coming from Ireland, we are required, it's an obligation, to separate the waste at our homes. It's more economic uh, rather than sourcing later on down the line. It also very much reduces the size of our landfills. There is a common term that developed in the waste management circles called reduce, reuse and recycle. Together with waste advisors, we've established a composting facility here in Blanta, where organic waste is turned into a very valuable farming input called compost. This is our final product that you see with me here. This is pure compost. Imagine from the skips from the markets, after eight weeks, you get a product like this. <laughs> Here we are at Hosanna Composting, who were trained by Waste Advisors uh, to do uh, compost, good quality compost. There are 45,000 people living here at Zeleka Camp who produce 9,000 tons of waste every year. We as Welthungerhilfe provide the trash, which is then here turned into compost, and the compost is then shipped out again, marketed towards the camps and towards the host communities. This is so amazing, so many people are already creating the circular economy. Waste is being turned into organic fertilizer. But is there enough trust in the product? Here at Namigango Farm, we grow different kind of uh, crops, more especially vegetables. We are using seed trays, and in the seed trays, we are not using the soil as such, but we make compost, and we are sowing the seeds in the trays using the compost. And we have realized that using the compost, the production of the seedlings is very fine. We used to have problems with pests, but when we are using the uh, compost, I think we don't have those kind of problems. We have a lot, of, a lot of pest pressure coming into tea now and we don't want to spray any pesticide uh, on the tea. So what we really focused on is trying to build up the bush health uh, and let, let it develop its own immune system, particularly for pests, but also for dealing with drought, things like that. We found that you know, the better the nutritional status of the tea, the better it is able to deal with these problems by itself. So that's really our focus and that where compost is playing a big role in that uh, with its micronutrients and the microbiology. I'm uh, 
lecturer at uh, University of Malawi, the Polytechnic, and I do lecture quite a number of courses that touch on uh, uh, environmental management, but also sustainable development and waste management. And now gardening is something that we should all appreciate, but it starts with the question of where do we get the uh, food for our plants. Should I go and buy synthetic or inorganic fertilizers, which are very damaging to the environment, and the environment, the microorganisms which are in the soil are not happy with the, the synthetic fertilizers. But if you have compost, you are sure that this is just feeding back to nature. You are inoculating nature, and it doesn't cost you a penny. The circular economy is possible. Let's make Malawi a showcase for the world to show that we can reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let us start seeing waste differently. Let's start by separating it at source. Above all, let us start seeing waste as a resource, not just as rubbish. <laughs>